everyone. I thought I would take you on a little Christmas tour of my house. It's not 100% done, but I figured if I don't do it now, I probably won't ever get to it because who knows if I'll finish my decor this year. But these are some wreaths that I just made and they're so fun to make. I now have made three and I'm going to make some more for some friends and then have some other friends over to make some. So those are a fun project. I'm going to make a swag hopefully tonight to put over the whole that whole doorway but um I made a swag last year but I'm gonna change it up and kind of get it to match this so stepping in my door let's see hopefully the baby will cooperate when you close my door there's a little Christmas countdown in the little bells there and look under the tree there's Mr. Cole Hi, Cole. It's your mama. Say hi, everyone. Say hi, everyone. Let me close the door the rest of the way. Um, so, this is my tree. You can't fully see it because it's daytime. And basically, it just has some deco mesh, some beads, and a whole bunch of favorite ornaments. I just sold my big huge tree so I'm just doing this one tree this year. I want to get a slim seven or nine foot tree at some point but for right now this tree works and I didn't have to spend any more money and I even made some money. Those are just some of my favorite ornaments over the years. Um, a, I moved all my furniture around because I had to take my couch back for some warranty work so I moved these chairs in here because I had my black couch in here, but I moved them in here. There's a little Santa. And there's these cute little chalkboards I got. And I just filled the inside with some um, Christmas bulbs and then glued, hot glued these paper stars I got at Target. I think they were $4 for both, and I or icicles, icicles. I love them. They're so cute. So you can kind of see how I, I take things off and just glue it over. Uh, let's see. If you go here, here's my red and black um, cabinet that I've had forever. And this is a little sign that says Jesus is the reason for the season. My secret pal just gave me that last month. And I have this cute bowl that you guys saw in my yard sale haul video. Um, I just filled it with red and silver bulbs. And the little trees. I would love to collect these. I don't even know where to find them. Bottle brush um, trees. I want like a million of them to cover like this whole thing. I made those rubber band glass things a couple years ago and they have candles. They look cute inside in, at night. My friend made me this peace sign. I love it. Um, at our old house we found random stuff in the attic and that snow globe was in there so I've kept it. Here's our book of box, or sorry, basket of Christmas books that we put out all year. It actually goes down here. And my kids just go through it and read books every day. That's a little nativity, the upside down Mary. We made these as a mops craft like 20,000 years ago. And I still have them. There's another tree somewhere. Above my mantle, it's just my normal mantle. I have a little, just out of that little Santa that my secret pal got me also. I wanna hang my stockings maybe, or a guard, I don't know what I wanna do, that's my problem. Up here, just some various ornaments and Santas, and there's this little sign, I just wrote joy on it, and pretty basic. Okay, there's a little Lego dude, another little Santa. Uh, Nothing over here. Floor was mopped today, so all the chairs are, are not by the floor. I mean by the table. Above my outside door, I have these three snowmen. And then I have my wreath from last year that was on my door last year, so I just put it here. And above my sink area, I just have some little tree garland pine cones, blah, 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 and candle, cranberry chutney. I love this Santa Claus. He's like ghetto Santa. Yo, yo, what's up? Say what's up, homies. 
So I'm going to put a Christmas printable in there. There's my me. Um, but I haven't yet because I haven't found one that I want to print. And just some ornaments and this huge tall vase thing with a candle. And then over here is just another thing of ornaments over my normal stuff. There's Cole again. Thinking he's going to get fussy in a second so I need to hurry. Over my window in here, I just took some twine and took some material and put some of my little favorite ornaments. I think Terry made this one a few years ago and someone gave us that in a Ruby Mom swap. And that one I think, I love. this is one of my favorites, this bird. And just several Ruby Mom ornaments from when we used to do exchanges. So I love this little thing. And then here is the frame thing that I got at the art sale. And I put family pics in it but of the kids. But John's mom gives the kids, every year for Thanksgiving, she'll bring a little ornament for the kids. And this year, she brought us each these hand knit, this is knitted, right? Sweaters that John's great aunt made. And then she went and bought a little, sewed a little thing on it and then sewed a little embellishment on it and gave these to the kids. So that's David's, that's my husband John's, that's Jonathan, I think. I'm pretty sure that one's Jonathan. Liz, Raquel, Jake. Oh, we have lots of J's, so who knows. Cole, and Lily. I knew Lily and Liz's. And then my favorite thing I did this year, Oh, let me show you these couple things. You guys will have to hear Cole cry for a minute. Um, this is a Christmas cookbook I've had forever. I always just put it out. David made me that, obviously, in 2009. Some coffee or hot cocoa mugs my kids like to use. I need to get some more of those from Walmart. They're, like, 50 years old. A little butter dish. Jake made this last year. It's one of my favorite. I love handmade Christmas stuff. So there's that. I have my my pantry door empty and my fridge empty so that hopefully the kids will make some crafts and we'll hang them up there. But this is my favorite thing. So up top, I just bought some wrapping paper at Hobby Lobby and some tool. I spent $12 for two big, huge rolls of wrapping paper and a huge thing of tool. So I have tons left, but um, and I just wrapped boxes. Those are like cereal boxes, shoe boxes I had in my, uh, I had that big one's a boot box I had in my closet. And, and I just mixed in a few things. I'm not sure if our next house is gonna have above the cabinet storage. So I haven't wanted to invest anything here since we're just renting. Um, but I love how this turned out. I love those little Santa bulbs that you're supposed to hang for outside. I just put them on those candle holders. And then the other side, I just put a couple other big ones and just some stuff. So there's my first little, oh, there's my little uh, beverage area. That's supposed to say coffee. It got wiped off, coffee, sugar, tea. But this is my first Christmas card. Jake wanted to give me my first Christmas card. It says, from Jake for mom, obviously a tree with presents. And then the inside it says, dear mom, I hope you like this card. If you like it, put a check. If you don't, put an X. I put a check, obviously. Love Jake. And then in the back, he drew a Santa. I don't want to rip it off, but he drew a Santa Claus and it's so cute. So anyways, that is my Christmas tour. Again, my favorite thing I did this year and I only spent $12. Everything else so far is just stuff I had other than my wreaths. So, all right guys, talk to you soon. Bye.